Leroy, you're a former player and manager, very much involved in this campaign, Show Racism Red Card. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's something that's very close to my heart, and uh, I, I, I've got the, a very uh, big belief that uh, you know working with young people is the, certainly the way forward. And uh, it's a campaign that uh, is, is tremendous, and the, the amount of people, not just myself, but ex-players and, and players who, like Jay Boothroyd and Gabby, have turned up today, they put their time towards it. And uh, I think it's a campaign that's moving forward quite, very quickly and getting the message out there. And you've had a positive reaction from these uh, young school children who've a turned up in force today. Absolutely, the school children are fantastic. You know, anybody says that we've got problems with our young people hasn't got a clue, to be honest, from, from, my, from my opinion, because the young people, especially in Wales, especially around Cardiff, the, the ones that I've worked with, uh, are absolutely fantastic. They've got a really, really good grasp on, on, on what racism is and that how we can move forward in terms of uh, making sure that it doesn't, doesn't happen, doesn't grow into something uh, as, as horrible as it was many, many years ago. And they're very, very enthusiastic about the subject and it just, it just gives me a lot of hope. Finally, let's turn to football, and you have a particular interest in the Cardiff City Reading match coming up uh, very shortly. Absolutely, I saw Cardiff play Wolves the other day, and you know, I, was, I was working down there for Radio Five, and I thought they were unfortunate to lose Jay early on in the game, and then Ross McCormack because I just felt at that time Ross was uh, uh, maybe, maybe going to go on and get his second. But I'm going to be here for the Cardiff Reading game. It's a big game in the Championship, isn't it? Why you are know? you going to be here for that one? I'm going to be here. Well, firstly, I'm getting paid; it's a job, <laughs> and secondly, because my son is going to be playing, obviously, for Reading. So I'm looking forward to that. But one thing I'm looking forward to is a really good game of football, two teams who play football, I think along with Wolves and Swansea, I think they're, they're the four teams who play football in this division and from my point of view, maybe a selfish point of view, I'd like to see one of those teams go up because I feel that they play football the right way and uh, people like David Jones does, is doing a fantastic job here. And you've enjoyed your visit to Ninian Park today? Yep, I spend a lot of time in Cardiff, I enjoy my, always enjoy my visits to Cardiff and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be along soon, uh, uh, certainly be along soon for the Cardiff Reading game and a lot more in the future. White, Chinese or Asian, what does it matter if you are Caucasian? Black, white, yellow or blue, it don't matter to me, what does it matter to you? Why well, there no respect? None. It's stupid. Not the kind of respect that's sent in school by a new kid. The kind of respect the kind of respect you give to a brother, sister or cousin, but in this case you have thousands and dozens. Racism is pointless, it don't make you hard. So why don't we come together and show racism through a card? I don't know what is going on in our community because we don't seem to get along in our community. That is the reason I'm on the song for the community to let them know that we've got a form of unity. we got to learn to get along with one another even if you're not the same colour, treat them like your brother. There used to be a time when I had love for some people until they turned their back on me, I turned evil. They call it bullying but me, I call it hating. They always waiting, never congratulating. I remember when they used them weapons, they was pranging. Cause if I use them weapons, blood, they won't be standing and hanging around to see the next day. But I know I'm the bigger man cause I'd rather walk away. Some people use guns and they think that's a cool thing. But the truth is, you're just acting foolish. We gotta stop, we gotta stop living that life of danger. Cause it's true when Pac said that we gotta make changes. All my life, I was terrorized. Kicked and punched, I was terrified. I was treated like a slave, suffering in a cave. But st I, still, I stood up strong and knew that I was brave. But what could I do and who could I tell? Death threatening conditions, it was deadly hell. I could hear myself cry, but didn't know why, until I admitted I wa that I wanted to die. I have paid my price and now life is full. Life could be nice, depends on the mood. Life has many stages with sugar and spice, so when races fight, that's when they pay the price. Cause life is like a game, so we should not complain. Because there's not much that you can gain, except for suffering and pain. Thank you very much. The experiences that you related to these children uh, about your touch with racism still remain with you? Yeah, of course, you know, obviously, you know, me going to Italy, it was a great experience for football, but, you know, obviously there was some, some things that I did experience that, you know, didn't make me happy and, you know, they have stayed me for life, you know, I've got a scar for life, I guess. Does that still happen occasionally? Yeah, I think, you know, I definitely think it still happens in, in Europe more than it happens here. Um, especially in the, you know, the, the smaller, the smaller villages and whatnot. Uh, but you know, as a, as a professional footballer, you, you know, you got you got to block that out on the pitch. And you know, things like this, you know, help help helping with the community as well and, and make people see things in a different light. And the reaction of these school children has been very positive. Yeah, it's terrific. You know, it's terrific to see the kids out here, you know, um, taking information on board and you know, understanding and like, showing the, the respect of being here and 
you know, I think it's a good thing because nowadays as well there's loads of different ethnic backgrounds, you know, throughout the, throughout the country, and I think you know it has to be explained to them so they can understand when they're growing up. On the football matters, how's your recovery going? Really well, uh, really happy. Um, I've, you know, I've, I guess I'm ahead of schedule. Um, I'm running at the moment, um, strengthening, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm not feeling no pain at all, and you know, like I said, hopefully I'll be available for selection for this once again.